Robert Fixit, you must install Windows 11 on all the old devices. What are the requirements? There are no requirements. This is Windows 11 Lite. Let's do it. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to take another look at Windows 11 LTSC and actually install it. So I did make a video about LTSC, sort of what it is and what the plans are in the previous video, which will be linked below, but I haven't actually installed it yet. I forgot to do that. So let's install it and see what's going on here. And I'm talking over a previous recorded video, so if the audio doesn't match what's happening on the screen, then that's why. So I'm installing it on this spare SSD that I have here. And this is a familiar menu. I think it looks a little bit different than Windows 10, but that's just because it's Windows 11. So just real quickly, while we start the installation, we'll talk about briefly what LTSC is. And that is the long-term servicing channel. This is an enterprise level Windows that has support longer than what a retail version would have. So there is a Windows 10 LTSC, which still has support until 2027, while the real retail side, as you know, is ending next year. And that's freaking a lot of people out. So let's get this in. This is called the Evaluation Edition. It's free. There's a link here to Microsoft, anybody can use it. And what it is, is just an ISO that allows you to install this on your computer and see if it's right for you. This is of course for companies to try on their systems before they have to pay for it. And so I wanted to try it because I was thinking at the time that this would be good for testing systems meaning if you built a system, but you weren't necessarily selling it as a complete build with the key and everything, you could just put LTSC on a computer and sell it and then let the new owner put whatever, whatever software they want to put on it. In my case, now, obviously if you're a computer builder, you want to set up all the drivers and put the key on and stuff, but I sell very low end systems. And so I don't really want to install Windows every time and install all the drivers and all that stuff. If I could just make one ISO and just put it on all the computers, that would save me a lot of time. Also, this Windows will run from a flash drive, so you can actually install it to a flash drive. As far as I know, that's what it said. So that way, let's say you bought a computer and you didn't want to put the hard drive in and do all that. You could just plug in the USB LTSC boot drive, right? And just boot from it and test it and see if it works. So that's convenient. And uh, as far as I know, the Windows 11 LTSC, which I will now refer to as Lite. I don't like saying LTSC every time. So Windows Lite. The installation process is the same and you can install it on legacy devices, old computers. You only need two gigs of RAM, Core 2 Duo, I think. And you don't have to do the whole Rufus modified thing that everybody does. You can just plug it in and install it. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you that it's not compatible because it's meant to be compatible with pretty much anything. And so that's why I want to use it and try it and see if what's the difference between regular Windows 11 and this one. Supposedly, there's no bloat, so there's no Xbox thing and OneDrive 
and all the normal stuff that's installed. Also, I have heard that you don't have to log in like normal. Like how the Windows 11 will ask you for the key and it'll ask you for your Microsoft account. So supposedly that's how this works. So let's see, we're gonna forward the installation here to the screen. It takes about 10 minutes. Now we're booting. Here's the welcome screen. So we're in. I've only installed Windows 11 a couple of times, so I don't remember what the, all the screens you normally would get are. I remember it would ask you for the key right away and then it would force you to log in and it was really hard to, to not log in. So we say, I did it offline. I say, I don't have internet. Who's gonna use the device? So that's me. And we're gonna turn off all this stuff here. And if you know what the difference is, if you've installed a lot of Windows 11s and you could say, hey, this, there's something missing here, please let me know. I don't know why it gets so blurry like that. It went pretty fast. It was about somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes to install from the flash drive. It took longer to, for me to f partition it. <laughs> I kept going, why is it not installing? Well, duh, it's not partitioned. You know, on Windows 10 and 7, remember, if there was no partition, it would just make one for you. But on Windows 11, you have to make the partition first, and then click Next. So, let's see. Some people are wondering what happens after the 90 day evaluation period. I'm not sure. There's no clear answer. I did see one post that someone said that you get a black screen, but that's one person. So <laughs> we're not gonna go by the word of one person. So we're in and let's see what it looks like. Oh wait, what was I thinking? This is not the Xeon. This is the, uh... no, this is a six gen. Wrong system, sorry. So this is the uh, six gen HP that I have. So it says Enterprise IoT LTSC Evaluation 24H2, which is newer than the current version of Windows that you can download right now activation state not what can't connect so it's not activated oh I think yeah so you have to connect to the internet to activate it right there is no key it didn't ask for one so let's connect to Wi-Fi okay now we're on Wi-Fi so There we go. Now it's activated. It took a second. I can't remember. I think I rebooted. Yeah. Anyway, that part's a little messed up. Um, I. It did activate when the internet came on. And then what I tried to do was, now that it said that it's active, I changed the date to 90 days forward. So that means it would be expired. And all it did was say that it's expired. It still worked. So let's look at what comes with it. So here we have Edge, Paint, and that's it. Oh, there's nothing on here. Let's check. 
check the utilization here. So we have memory, 2.2 gigs. I forget what the normal usage is. I think, pretty sure on mine, it, I'm using three gigs just on the desktop. So that's good, but there's no programs on here either. So that could be another reason. But yeah, so let's see what this does. Try to get updates. Now this version does not have Copilot. Someone else said that after you do all the updates, it puts Copilot back on there. I don't know if that's true. And then look, all of these things are off. Updates are off, no optional updates. So you, you manually have to get updates unless you turn on those sliders. So that's good. See, now it's downloading a bunch of stuff. But yeah, someone said if you update everything, it puts Copilot back on. I, I don't know if that's true, because why would they do that? I, I assume or that I hope that they would ask you if you want to put Copilot, that's fine. But don't just automatically put it on there. And then... Now here's the date. So, yeah, maybe the video is backwards. This is where I changed the date. Yeah. Yeah, I think the video is out of order. So I changed the date to somewhere in the future. And then it expired and then I changed the date back and then it works again. So now, after the reboot, see, it says license is expired. Also, the background changed for some reason. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't, I guess, is that a Windows 11 thing where it just changed the background for you? Maybe. But anyway, this, this video is just about the install process, so try to keep it short. It went on smoothly. It went on a system that didn't support it. I probably should have done it on the older one because that would show people more that it works on the older one, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, so see now the license is valid again. So I wonder... Um, but yeah, final thoughts of the... A couple of things that I learned about LTSC since I made the last video. People are wondering how much is it going to cost when it's actually available. So nobody knows really. And so I looked up the cost of Windows 10 LTSC. It was or currently is, I guess, around $295 for one license. And I saw one place that was selling a license for $219. I don't know if that's true or not. But the thing is, you can't necessarily just buy this. You can't just go down the street and, and purchase it, whatever it costs. You have to buy, in most cases, from what I've read, you have to have a volume license agreement with Microsoft, and that requires five licenses. So you're probably looking at $1,000 for five PCs. Someone said you could buy five other licenses, including the Enterprise. For example, um, there's another program that costs like 50 bucks. So you wouldn't necessarily have to buy the five windows. You can just buy five items. But um, yeah, so as far as we know, it's. I've seen multiple sources say that it's going to be around $300 retail to a corporation. It is my theory still that there will be some sort of monthly version of it. That was my initial opinion months ago. And I just learned that 
Windows 10, even though the life ends next year in October, Microsoft has confirmed that there will be a subscription-based extension on Windows 10 for certain situations. I don't know if it's available to the public, but as far as the enterprise level, they can still get updates and they just have to pay for it monthly. And another article that I read says that it will go up every year. And so you might say, well, that's kind of screwy, but the thing is it's cheaper for the company to just pay the monthly fee than to change all their equipment in the whole building, right? So that's, to me, that's fine. And so that's further proof that there could eventually be a Windows 11 subscription-based version, whether it's personal or enterprise. And I don't see why they wouldn't do that. It's, they totally could. And instead of somebody buying Windows 11 for $200, they're gonna pay, you know, $10 a month forever, then why not? And they could probably even bundle it with Office and just basically attack your credit card every month. So that's my opinion. That's what happened. Some of this information may be completely not true, but um, that's my story. So if you have installed Windows 11 LTSC, please comment below and let me know what your experience was like. Thank you.